What's going on everybody? You already know who it is. This is your boy, that guy, the dragon here. And in today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about Modern Warfare 3 and aim assist. I know a lot of people are wondering, you know, how's aim assist like on PC? How's aim assist like on console? And I'm gonna be honest, uh, I think the aim assist on console, this could be just because I'm not used to it, but when I played, it wasn't that strong. And uh, I think that's okay. I think the aim assist on console was okay. Maybe it's just because I wasn't used to it. I'm used to my overclock controller on PC and just, you know, the latency on PC just seems way better. But you know, if you've been playing on console all your life, you would never know what I'm talking about. And uh, it might, you know, feel okay for you. But for me, I felt like it was a little weaker. I just wasn't used to it. But when I got on PC, uh, I think here's where the issue happens because I'm used to it. You know, the aim assist was just, absolutely insane and i just want to say something real quick we already know i don't know if you guys watch the pulse check uh podcast but uh they are already i think it was jcod who said that they're not going to be changing aim assist because the metrics for uh modern warfare or i guess mouse and keyboard versus controller uh they're about the same they're pretty even across the board and you can't argue with statistics, you know, if it's pretty much even across the board, no matter what I feel about it or what you feel about it, if it's about we have the same KD, then you know what? Uh, it is what it is, right? Uh, one doesn't have an advantage over the other. If you have a good mouse and keyboard player and a good controller player, I feel like, uh, you know, those metrics in a pub lobby, uh, they're about the same. So it doesn't matter what I think, right? Um, but I, I will say this, that if you have a good mouse and keyboard player and a good controller player, the good controller player is going to win, you know, seven out of 10 of those gunfights against a mouse and keyboard player. And I think that's where the issue lies. Uh, people are just really sick of rotational aim assist on uh, PC. Uh, council guys, I'm excluding you from this. On PC, I feel like something needs to be done because uh, with the overclock controllers, with how everything works, it just feels a lot better and a lot stronger in my personal opinion. And um, I think that this is uh, something that definitely needs to be looked at because I'm pretty sure they're just looking at the metrics from, you know, console, like they're taking all the data and they're taking it from, you know, Xbox, PlayStation and PC, and they're putting it all together. But I'm pretty sure if you look at the PC metrics, right? People that play mouse and keyboard and controller on PC is a little different because let's be honest, PC gamers are a little bit, no matter if you play controller or if you play um, mouse and keyboard, we are hardcore gamers, right? Like we, we don't just sit on the couch with our PCs and play. We have a monitor. We pretty, we pretty much have a pretty decent setup. And I think that's where the issue lies. And I really think somebody should do an in-depth look at it um, because, you know, something definitely does have to be done. And I'm all for the nerf of aim assist on PC. Uh, on console, maybe just a little bit. I, I don't know if the metrics, like, I, I found it hard to aim on console, personally. Um, but, you know, who knows? And I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say about it. Uh, Modern Warfare 3 was super fun. Um, just the sniping clips in the background, like, sniping was just super fun on mouse and keyboard. And it was fun on controller. Um, but... I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say down in the comment section below. Let's get a conversation started. Let's try to keep it civil, please. Um, because uh, we, we want to make this to where it's not a civil war happening in the comment section, right? Uh, we just want to give feedback and we want to give constructive criticism. And I, I feel like mouse and keyboard definitely needs a little bit of help, especially with the way Call of Duty is. And it is a multi-platform game and it's supported on all inputs. And I feel like it would be fair enough, even though the majority of the COD player base is on controller, you know, if you support the mouse and keyboard uh, input, you, you, you should have it equally be as good, right? So especially it being a cross-platform game. So I'm super curious to hear what you guys have to say. Let me know down in the comment section below. As always, guys, remember to stay blessed and stay humble. And I will catch you in another Modern Warfare 3 video. Only three weeks to go.